The month of October is Texas Chiropractic Health Month. Millions of Americans have benefited from chiropractic care, yet most people seem to think chiropractors just treat neck and back pain. Joining us this morning to talk about the benefits that go beyond the back, Dr. Stephen Kanoff, Executive Director of Chiropractic and Compliance at the Joint Chiropractic. Good morning, doctor. How are you doing? Hey, good morning. I'm doing well. How are you? Well, for those that don't know, can, can you break down, and it's, again, more than just the neck and back, uh, what a chiropractor does? Right. So uh, the long story short for chiropractic, really, we focus on improving the body's ability to recognize and respond to stress in our environment. That could be physical stress, whether that's just sitting all the time or maybe you have a really physical job or hobby. It could be mental stress or it could even be chemical stress from the things that you eat or expose your body to. Over time, all that stress builds up and can lead to negative impacts on your health. So chiropractic, we use an adjustment to restore motion back into the spine, improve the function of the nervous system so that your body is better able to manage just all the things that you throw at it on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, I mean, it sounds good, right? <laughs> uh, doctor, is it true that seeing a chiropractor can help with things like migraines and anxiety and depression? Yeah, we see a lot of patients for migraines, headaches. I think when people think about chiropractic, they simply think about neck pain uh, or low back pain. But we see sports injuries. We have uh, very active individuals who just want to stay active. And so it's more of a uh, about quality of life so that they can continue to be active and prevent injuries. Um, we see things like sciatica. We see patients with varying degrees of arthritis to help manage those systems so it is just far more than neck and low back pain and, and doctor what kinds of things should a patient be asking you guys on on their first visit in your first visit it's really important as a patient uh, to present all your typical medical information. Uh, what are your health goals? Why are you seeing uh, the chiropractor in the first place? What do you hope to alleviate? Uh, you wanna put out your health history, your family history, so that when you have that consultation and examination with a chiropractor, they have all the information that they need to make sure that you're a great candidate for chiropractic care. When you're a patient, ask about any of the concerns that you have. Be really forthcoming, it's really important and it's really appreciated by chiropractors when you establish that open dialogue. It just goes a long way to build that patient-doctor relationship. Doctor, do you ever have, have patients come in, first-time patients who have these preconceived notions of what a chiropractor is going to do and they're pleasantly surprised at how, what a great experience it is? Yes, absolutely, all the time. We've got patients that are hesitant about maybe having their neck treated, and we work into that over time. Uh, we see babies where parents are bringing and trusting us with their newborns uh, that are, are hesitant at first. But once you get through that first experience, uh, many, many of our patients see that immediate impact that chiropractic can have on their health. So, so, doctor, where does like chiropractic health sort of enter the picture? Is, is it, in other words, maybe I have an injury and I'm not getting relief from somewhere else, and I go, oh, the light bulb goes, well, maybe I try a chiropractor. Mm. Or is this something that we sort of do in, in concert with other treatments? I mean, because it's not just physical, it's mental, too. So how does this fit into, like, kind of overall health? Right. Uh, yeah, the answer is all of the above. A lot of our patients come in first seeing us for some kind of issue that they're having, but really the bread and butter of chiropractic is all about preventative measures. We, we don't want you to get back into those headaches or migraines or that low back pain. We want to create uh, a body that's really resilient to stress for you. And sometimes we can manage that by ourselves. Other times we might refer and co-treat with other providers, whether that's massage or physical therapy or medical doctor. It really just depends on a patient by patient case. Gotcha. And doctor, I hear people say all the time, I'm going in for an adjustment. What exactly <laughs> does that entail and what can you expect from that treatment? Yeah, the adjustment, uh, I, I think in the general public, most people will think of it as getting popped or getting cracked. Yeah. Uh, that's what we call the adjustment. It's when we restore motion back into a joint uh, to improve your mobility, improve your flexibility, uh, improve how your nervous system functions. So again, that you can just respond to whatever you're throwing at your body. 
Are, are there examples where, you know, through lifestyle changes and other things, maybe patients don't need an adjustment so often? Or, or is this the kind of thing where it's like, hey, this is an issue that needs constant adjusting? Is everybody different in that sense? Uh, yeah, it definitely varies by patient, uh, and it really is dependent on your lifestyle. Unfortunately for many of us, it's hard for us to escape some kind of stress in our lives, whether that's sitting all day, uh, like we, we tend to do. Uh, some people may not be stretching enough. Maybe they're not active enough. Maybe they're not eating the right foods. So all of these things can contribute to your overall picture of, of health and wellness. And depending on that, you may be seeing more more or less frequently by your chiropractor. I raised my hand six I know. times. Clearly like... we need to make appointments, both of us. Uh, Dr. <laughs> Stephen Knob, Executive oh. Director of Chiropractic and Compliance at the Joint Chiropractic. Thanks for hanging out with us this morning. We appreciate all the information. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I'm still going to do my twist here at the desk. Do the, do the twist. <laughs> do the twist. Much. I know. We need to yeah, go we'll come, see. We'll come see you, Doc. Yes.